Speaking of things that are failing around here, one of the things that you uh, may have noticed in some of my videos in the background is that the cable management's been quite a bit of a mess lately. And I've had this problem where the clips that are holding all the cables down are starting to pop off. And that's unacceptable because it makes my life uh, a little bit more stressful because I'm constantly kicking cables and pulling them with my knees or feet in some cases. And I can't, I can't be about that life. I'm tired of it. I can't do that anymore. So today we're gonna try and figure out where to put this Oveo cable management rack. This thing is all steel. Uh, again, yeah, I know I'm an Oveo fanboy uh, by this point. But anyway, this thing is all steel, which is really nice. So we don't have to worry about that weird flex problem that you have with plastics. And it's not that like cheap, fake al aluminum that uh, some other products offer that like kind of like degrades over time or even like snaps or breaks. So this thing should last forever and we kind of need to figure out where we're going to put it. Um, but real quickly, I do want to show you guys underneath my desk so I can show you some of the clips that have uh, fallen off and are probably going to fall off in the future just so you can kind of get an idea of what I've done, which is something I sort of covered in the past. Um, but only a little bit. But today I'm gonna actually try and show you. So let's get under here. So let's kind of take a gander at what's going on here. So we have a power cable that's normally um, somewhat cable managed underneath here. Um, and you can see that there's actually this plastic clip with some glue on the underside or some uh, tape. And this thing has popped off, which is starting to become a, prob a common problem. So let's see if I can find some more. Here's one. So here's another clip that's popped off. And there's been a bunch more, but I've kind of pulled them away and thrown them away a little bit anyway. Um, they've done a pretty good job over time, but I don't think I could recommend these to anybody because it's only been about a year. And I mean, they're not really holding a lot of cables up. I have so many of them that there's not a lot of weight pulling on them. But they're still coming away on their own. So we kind of need to fix that. And I have these like big bundles of cables, which you typically can't see which is fine, but I'd like to, I don't know, maybe mask those a little bit better. Of course, I have this stupid, ugly brick that Apple makes. I don't know why they can't just, it's not bad. I, it's a love-hate thing, but I wish they would just get rid of this design and make something uh, a little bit more easier to work with. Um, but anyway, that's that's point. So I'm thinking what we're gonna end up doing is probably get this adapter moved out of the way and put the um, cable management tray like somewhere in this vicinity, maybe even offset because, you know, the computer sits on the far right and the vast majority of cables um, go right there. So, hmm, this is gonna be a tough one. All right, so now that I got the tripod set up, maybe I can give you guys a little bit better idea what I was thinking. So this, this uh, cable management tray has a cutout here, which is perfect. So basically, you know, the game plan is if we kind of offset it, maybe somewhere about here, uh, we could actually push down a lot of these cables inside the tray and then run through this hole any cables that need to go up to the actual gaming computer or um, what is it called, or the truncator. So, and I think that would work out pretty well. It would do a good job of hiding a lot of things. Um, and if it's offset, what that means for us is that if we buy, decide to buy another one of these in the future, um, we can actually stick it along the other side for some of the other cables. And this is what I mean by the other side, because there's another bundle of cables here that goes up to the monitor, and it'd be really cool to have, you know, this sitting about here. Of course, this would get moved or maybe even rest inside of the tray, because that would fit, and we could have two, and that would be pretty cool. So I guess I'm gonna have to kind of play around with this a little bit and, and really decide like what I'm gonna end up doing in the long run, or maybe not long run, but temporarily and then the long run. And I really, really wish Oveo would start including um, washers <laughs> with their with their screws. They give us screws already and it, it would just be nice to have some washers because this is just too thin for the screws that they provide, which is not a problem. The screws are the perfect length, especially if you want to put them in the drywall with the uh, drywall uh, plastic anchor things that they provide, which is awesome. Glad they do that. But in this case, I don't need drywall anchors I need washers so I don't poke a hole through my desk so I'm also gonna have to source those because um, as you may remember from the previous video I when I undermounted uh, one of their products before um, I put washers there because I was scared about putting holes through the desk but anyway 
So, um, yeah, we're just gonna have to figure this out. To be continued, ooh. Okay, so for washers to kind of give myself a little more space, I just kind of, I just went around the house and I found a few of these laying around, or a couple of these laying around, and they fit perfectly, which is awesome. Um, I think these are the locking type, which should be okay, because I don't really plan on screwing them entirely, like tightly down, because this isn't really gonna be holding a lot of weight. And so with this edge here, and with two of these washers, I shouldn't be poking through my desk, uh, because again, just to give you guys an idea, like, these things are just too tall, but only barely. And I don't wanna risk, uh, you know, bowing the wood at all, even with just, even without washers, because this looks like it'd be thick enough, but it's too risky for me. And I went ahead and decided that the um, tray will sit flush against this. I don't really use these top ports here. These are just surge ports. Uh, I mainly just use all the bottom row here for battery backup. So it's gonna sit flush right about here and then just run all the way across here. And that way in the future, if I decide to put another one, I'll have space for it. So now I just need to get this thing drilled in. I've already marked my holes and we are good to go. So I'm just kind of making pre-holes, little, little small pre-holes. That way I can get started and it'd be easier for me um, to do this since I'm by myself. And you know, normally you would just use a drill bit but I'm doing it the lazy way, of course. That should be good. And now we just need to get the tray. Okay, so the tray is going to sit about like this. Now this is gonna be interesting. I think I might need a hand actually. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a hand. All right, let's try this again now that I've got my extra hand. I'm gonna need a more powerful drill. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> God dang it. This is why I did it by hand last time. Okay, so on second thought, this isn't working very well, so I think what we're gonna do is just drill a pilot hole first because this drill is not strong enough to uh, do it and these are actually high quality screws because i feel like normally i would have stripped screws by now uh doing what i just did <laughs> so oh man i never cease to amaze myself so we're just gonna drill ourselves a little bit of a pilot hole literally try not to go too deep i think i actually need a thicker bit all right that's in now i just need to do the other side i'm not sure how i didn't strip that other screw but i'm glad i didn't wow that's nice and secure so there's a tiny little gap there which is about perfect. And um, yeah, I don't really know. It's not really much to show you guys just yet. So I guess we're gonna do some cable management and then see what it looks like afterwards. Let's get to it. All right, and we are mostly done. So the only kind of problem children I have here are that keyboard cable and that uh, mouse cable, which I kind of like a lot of slack on my mouse cable. So that's why it looks like that. Um, and I think I'm gonna have to get like a, a switch, like a USB switch, so that way I don't have to cycle in between two keyboards for when I wanna use my Mac and then the gaming computer. Not that I really even need the second keyboard for my gaming computer because I use this keypad when I actually game anyway. Um, so it looks pretty clean from up here. I'm gonna pull that down, I guess. And um, that used to be way worse. I don't know if you guys have noticed in the past, but that was really gross. And then down here, it looks a hell of a lot cleaner. You can barely see any cables like actually falling down or like hanging down like they were in the past, which is nice. And then of course, the most important part is what does it look like now? So um, this cable right here goes to the gamepad, 
So that, I don't really have anywhere to put that unfortunately, but everything's nice and tight now. I decided to leave these here. They were on there pretty good and I didn't wanna like pop them off and they can hold um, the cables going to my MacBook, um, which is mounted there. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I have like mixed feelings about this, but you can't see it because this bar blocks it. Uh, the only way to see it is when you're underneath the table and it, that's what it looks like. Now on the rear, it looks a lot messier, um, but you generally won't be seeing that. Um, I kind of got cables going all over the place down here, but it's kind of nice because they all come in through here and then they come through this small hole right here and then go to the gaming computer itself, but it's like perfect. Um, everything is, is really well managed. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, this network cable is stretched um, all the way uh, up here. The desk is actually at standing height, so that's why those cables are kind of um, pulled tight. And that's not always going to be there. That's going to go away in the future. There will be a, a four port ethernet port there, uh, or I shouldn't say port, but there will be four ethernet jacks there in the future. Um, so that's kind of like a temporary solution that I'm doing. And that'll really help clean you know, this up. Um, I wish this power outlet was closer to this maybe. <laughs> so that way I wouldn't have two random cables just kind of hanging here. Um, and this is like too short to actually like run up along the desk and then down the leg around and then to the wall. I guess I could get an extension cable, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, network cables obviously be a lot easier because I could definitely run that around and down and then along this and then to the wall. Um, the only hard part is obviously when I raise and lower the desk. But yeah, uh, anyway, that turned out pretty good, I think. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, I suppose. All right, now the desk is all the way lowered. So this is basically what it'll look like um, from far away. And then we'll kind of get eye level here. And yeah, that looks actually really clean. I do, I really do need to fix this, do something about this. But honestly, it looks a lot better than it did before. Um, it looks like I may actually have a little work to do. I didn't even notice that before. Um, there's some USB cables back there, but you know, from the sitting perspective, that's not too bad. Um, doesn't bother me at all. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think that cable tray down there, you still can't even see until I get really low to the ground, uh, helped out a bunch, a bunch more than just having a bunch of random cables go every which direction. Now they're all bundled together. So if I never, ever need to grab one, I won't be able to, I guess. <laughs> and as always. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.